Hello and welcome to Terra 3D, the first channel about 3D printing and hand therapy. I'm Livia and today I'm going to talk about the materials used in 3D printing. PLA is one of the most famous filament used for the low cost 3D printers because it is very easy to print and it is safe and non-toxic. In fact, it comes from biological material like corsage or sugarcane. So it is also recyclable and biodegradable, but don't throw it in the ambient because it requires the correct conditions of humidity and temperature. It starts melting at about 180 to 100 degrees Celsius, but depending on the color or the additive materials or the property of the filament, it also can reach 230 degrees Celsius. So just read the instruction on your filament. There is a slight smell when it is heated, but there are no toxic vapors or chemicals released in the air. It is not suited for outdoor objects because it is porous and uh, it doesn't have a great resistance to water and humidity and it will break under stress so it is less resistant than ABS but it is very good for making uh, oblique parts or connections and bridges. It has a really glossy finish and I really like PLA a lot for this shining uh, uh, effect and there are lots of uh, PLA filaments. There is the PLA combined with wood or with ceramics or with metal, um, the glow-in-the-dark PLA, the transparent one, so really you can have a variety of filaments that uh, you can choose and make the objects that you want. ABS requires a higher temperature to be printed, we are talking about 200 degrees Celsius and more, and requires a heated printed bed. It is very tricky to use because there might be warping and curling during the printing process and uh, there is an unpleasant swell when it is heated because uh, there are toxic um, vapors released in the air. So you'll also need a closed printer with a good ventilation. Once it is cooled, uh, the object won't be toxic. In fact, um, ABS is the material used for making Legos. And if you ever stepped on them, you sure remember the pain in your feet and the fact that ABS has a really uh, great impact resistance and toughness, so it is indicated for gears or functional parts. Acetone is often uh, used in the post-processing to give ABS a glossy finish and uh, it is uh, recyclable but not biodegradable. Resin is a liquid photopolymer that hardens under ultraviolet light and it is used by the LCD, DLP or SLA 3D printers and remember to always handle it with gloves because it is toxic for the skin contact and uh, wear an FFP2 mask during the printing process because there are chemicals released in the air while, um, while printing and keep the room uh, with a good ventilation. The final object and the parts of the 3D printer that came in contact with the resin shall be cleaned with isopropylic alcohol um, at about 95 degrees or much more. So the better the isopropylic alcohol it is, the, the best um, cleaning you will have. And remember to do not uh, leave any traces of resin that may harden and destroy your plate. The resin is the best material indicated for printing objects with a complex architecture or with uh, um, a complex design because it has a high accuracy and uh, a very high resolution. The resin, if it is printed with with a higher thickness it can be very resistant but it's relatively brittle so under much stress it will break down and of course if the layers or if the parts of the of your model are uh, very thin of course it will break and uh, remember to don't leave the resin object out uh, in the sunlight for too much time because due to the ultraviolet radiations may um, destroy the property of the materials and they are really 
many kind of resins. There are the more durable one, the more heat resistant one, the rubber like resin, um, the transparent one, and so you can have fun choosing uh, the one that you like most. PT starts melting at about 230 degrees Celsius and it requires a heated printed bed. Once it is cooled down, it is resembling uh, uh, glass and it is certified to be safe for food contact. In fact, it is the material used for making water bottles or utensils and cups. It has to be printed slowly to make sure that the layers will adhere properly. And there is a variant of PET combined with glycol named PETG that um, has an increased flow rate and uh, uh, it requires a lower temperature to be printed, so it is faster in printing and it is mainly used for garden appliances. Nylon has a high tensile strength, it can bear a lot of weight without uh, breaking down, it is resistant to water, chemicals, ultraviolet light, to low temperature, it is inexpensive and uh, non-toxic. It requires uh, a high temperature to be printed, we are talking about 150 degrees Celsius, which is uh, much more than a lot of extruders can manage, and it requires also a heated printed bed. It has to be printed slowly to make sure that the layers will adhere properly on the plate, and uh, it is also necessary using uh, a white glue to stick uh, it on the plate. It is mainly used for containers that came in contact with food or for plant pots because it can resist water very well. PVA it is used for making the supports on your 3D printers that have moving parts or with a complex architecture because it is water soluble. So once you put uh, the object with uh, the supports they have printed in PVA in water, the supports will completely disappear and will remain just your object. It starts melting at about 100 degrees Celsius and uh, there are toxic uh, vapors released in the air. But I think that is an interesting solution for making objects with moving parts. TPU is a flexible material. It is uh, very light and it is considered the bridge between plastics and rubber. And uh, it is uh, uh, ultraviolet resistant, uh, damage resistant, it has a great uh, impact resistance and uh, it is very tough, can resist to ultraviolet radiation and low temperature, so it is a very strong material. It needs a temperature from 230 to 250 degrees Celsius and a heated printed bed. It is very difficult to print and requires uh, um, low uh, speed. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and don't miss the next video because I'm going to talk about the 3D printers that I have and the differences between them and the various 3D printing processes. Bye bye, thanks again and remember to subscribe!